This astonishing landscape is my second home. I come back to the high Tatras pretty much every winter. I love traveling solo. I think because I can become in touch with my own mind. I don't have to adjust my plans to anyone, usually I don't talk at all for entire days. It allows me to see the landscape with an uninterrupted mindset. In winter, my relationship with nature is somehow more intimate, I think. Though there are fewer things to perceive, those are very intense. There are hardly any colors, but as the cold pierces into my body, I can feel my presence in nature much better. That's why I prefer going to the northern countries or the high mountains. What I'm searching for in my work is the small subtle shifts of the colors how the weather and seasons affect the landscape. I like to take photographs because I can bring things back. A trip without the camera would be a nightmare. For my work I chose the Sony mirrorless system. It has everything I need. It's small and lightweight, it has huge dynamic range, IBIS, great battery life and weather sealing. In the mountains, especially in the high Tatras, everything is so spontaneous. You never know when you're gonna witness those amazing lights and clouds. So I spend as much time outside as I can, instead of just waiting for the perfect moment. The themes I'm interested in often last for less than a second. The best thing about Sony mirrorless cameras is the live view of the viewfinder. When I look at the viewfinder, I know exactly what my exposure is. And when the light changes quickly, I need to be able to react. And most of the times the lighting is very tricky, so knowing that I have 15 stops dynamic range makes me confident that there are tons of room in the row files to work with later. The weather in the high Tatras is highly unpredictable. My camera has been exposed to pretty much everything. Dealing with sub-zero temperatures, 50 km per hour wind, snow, but the better life of my Sony a7R3 lasts about 5 times longer than the previous models. My interest tends to gravitate towards the moody, dark weather. When my subject is moving fast, when the light is very low or the conditions are extreme, the in-body image stabilization has proven to be a game changer for my work. The IBIS and the great weather ceiling are the things that allow me to create images and films during my travels. Now with my work I need more time to process my experiences and my images as well, because I put in a lot of energy to reach these locations and to shoot and think creatively. And for me it's crucial to decide which images have a voice that align with my feelings about the trips. A good piece of technology allows me to step outside of the safe and the routine. It embraces uncertainty. This is exactly what I have chosen to do. I'm grateful in many ways to be able to share stories, push further and try to create something different with the help of my Sony mirrorless cameras.